Hi folks, welcome back. This is the part three of the RD350 crankshaft rebuild. As you can see here, I've uh, cleaned the webs up so they look almost like spanking new. And uh, now we'll go on to the next part of the uh, the build and uh, the true up. So they look a, a million dollars better now, almost like OAM. And uh, so we'll go on to the next stage in the Qtix. Here we are back again in the clean room. Uh, now the next stage what I like to do is um, I've got a brand new centre section here for a Yamaha 350. What I like to do is I like to check it just to see what it's like out the box. So I've got everything set up with a little uh, little Noga stand and the gauge. So as you can see there that's zeroed. So let's uh, give it a full revolution and see where the high spot is. As you, as you can see that it's uh, it's 0 0.012 out that's actually from out the box and uh, I found that most of them are around about that uh, measurement not not much better than that some some are like say point point not eight some are point one two but uh, there's there's uh, direct evidence of the the setup so. We'll go on to the next stage and uh, put the end webs on this time. So, back in a few ticks. And here we are with the opposite side, the opposite web, zeroed. And to give you the value here, as you can see, it's slightly more than the other one. Only just. So, they're, they're about equal in measurement. It's about 14, something like that. 0.014. Back again. Uh, one more thing I'd like to point out is, as you can see, this is a new middle section and it has a labyrinth seal with the reliefs in the side here. If you look at other ones that you might get, you might get such as this these are a different uh, it says it's the same pattern but it's not actually the same um that's that's the original oam which is the, which is the same as the one that's that's come so be careful when you get parts and check them because if you look at them they're actually different heights they're actually a different part number and uh these ones won't do at all even though it's it's come come as for one of these engines this is the one that you really want um, you get a lot, lot more oil exposure to the middle of the inner sides of the inner bearings so that's just one thing to watch out for this is the one you don't want and this is the one that you do want which is the same which is the OEM which has come as the same as the new central section so that, I thought I'd just point that out to anybody that's doing these so we'll move on to the next stage here we are at the next stage as you can see and like a previous video I use a large magnetic V block which is turned on so that's holding itself down to the table itself and it also grabs hold of the webs as you can see here and the part you want to concentrate on is this surface edge needs to be touching this machined edge on both sides and as you can see there there's no gap no gap there and no gap there so that's ready for pressing on now so gently now ease that press into action and as things settle just recheck again and to make sure there's, there's no air gap at the top and bottom there and you'll be able to uh, press it on with some confidence so that should go on pretty easy now and should be fairly straight for checking for run out later as you can see here she's going down slowly and when you've measured that before taking into consideration the actual depth and width of the webs so you can go down and when you get somewhere close double check the gaps again as you can see the gaps are 
close there there's no air gap so that should be somewhere pretty close as we come down and pause it there and then we'll go and get the gauge and check the depth hi folks back again and we finally reached the end near the end goal um, it's took a bit of knocking to and fro in and uh, as you can see here on the gauge I've managed to get it down to well within spec um, a little tip for anybody that's doing their crankshafts to give you a helping hand what I have here is a big lead billet and if you're having trouble getting your uh, crank if it's, if it's pressed a long way out all you simply do is get the crankshaft rest it actually in the in that groove on the on the lead billet there so it's not touching any other part of the crank like that and then and then hit that with the hammer keeping a firm hold of it so you're not shocking any part any part of the other or other parts of the crank itself so as you can see there that is uh, really happy with that that's uh, well within spec and uh, that's the final stage is done I'll put it back in the V block double check and we'll have moving just just one and a half clicks I'm really really happy with that and uh, you can spend a bit of time you can you can get them pretty close but you don't really need to have them that close but uh, just to prove a point and uh, show that you can do it basically so thank you everybody again for watching bye for now